Now existence, you see, is something that is spontaneous. The Chinese word for nature, zhan, means that which happens of itself. Your hair grows by itself. Your heart beats by itself. You breathe pretty much by itself. You don't have voluntary control over these things. So we say it happens spontaneously. So when you go to sleep and you try to go to sleep, you interfere with the spontaneous process of going to sleep. Try to breathe, you know, real hard, and you find you get balled up in your breathing. YouTube, what is going on? And if you're still here because you're interested to know that lens I have used on that sequence earlier, then it's good because I will be telling you everything. But a quick warning, by the way, that lens is a full manual vintage lens from Minolta. So if you cannot shoot manual focus, then this video is not for you. And that lens is only $20. Ooh, completely blown away by the performance, the character, sun flare, bokeh, mm, so sweet. And it's just only $20, come on. But then you need to understand that you will be adapting these lenses into your camera. And for example, my Lumix S5 has an L mount and that 50mm f1.7 from Minolta has an MD mount. What does it mean? That means you will need an MD to L mount adapter. This thing I bought it from Amazon for $30. $20 for that lens and $30 for the adapter. $50 and I'm already enjoying my new camera. But one key component by the way is an ND filter. An ND filter is really necessary if you want to shoot directly into the sun because we want to maintain that 180 shutter angle. And you have to take note as well that I am using here a step up ring since the Minolta MD has only 50 mm thread and this ND filter has a 67. So this step up ring is really necessary if you want to shoot some videos because you will have different lenses and different lenses have different thread. So get one because they are just really cheap in Amazon. So this is now the full rig that I have used in order to shoot that video earlier. I am just completely blown away of the dynamic range of this Lumix S5. The V-Log is just so sweet. It's not even comparable to the S-Log3 of my Sony. And that's the reason why I am not using S-Log3 on my Sony. I'm just using HLG all the time. That's it. And a little bit of information there i hope you guys find this video entertaining helpful informative and if you do hit the like button subscribe to my channel and as always i will see you next time peace